Hey everybody, I'm Marie Bard Curtis of the Quilted Poodle. Hey everybody, I'm Marie Bard Curtis of the Quilted Poodle. I'm the founder of a group called Quilters Creative Touch Club of East Lansing, or QCT Club of East Lansing. And I, along with my friend Chris Rulson of Threadbox Quilts, co-facilitate a group that gets together once a month at our local quilt store. Our ideal is that we will get together all these people who have long armors and have the Quilters Creative Touch software created by the Grace Company will get together once a month and discuss issues that we're having. We have some demonstrations, we have some uh, examples done in the software as well as using our long arms. So it's been very helpful for us and we have been going for almost two years. So. If you can find people in your area who also have the Quilters Creative Touch software, I encourage you to make contact with them and get together because you can learn a whole lot more with a group of people than you can on your own. And there is a very high learning curve if you are just getting a long arm in addition to have computerized software with it. So how this all came about for me I was looking for a long arm and I had gone to trade shows like many of you have. I've tried the long arms that they have there and you only do a limited number of things because if you've never had a long arm before, you don't really know what to do. You don't really know how to challenge. You can do um, a certain amount of homework, but once you get your hands on the handles of that long arm, it's kind of, it's kind of scary. And so you do what you think you should do. You listen to them give their presentation. You get the brochures, you come home, you study them, and then you go back to the next trade show or you go to the next quilt store and try out another machine. Well, for me, my local quilt store had Handy Quilter and the Juki. So what I ended up trying out at the store was the Juki QVP 2200, which is what I did end up purchasing. And at the time when I was at the store, a Juki representative was there conducting a class for the owners. It was a three-day class. And so the first day of class, because I was interested in buying a Juki QVP, they let me sit in on the first day of class. There was a lot of theory and a lot of information about free motion quilting, but the second and third day were going to be on the computerized software that goes with the machine. And for me, uh, kind of a geek who really does love computers, software, and quilting, the only way I could attend the second and third day was if I actually purchased the machine. So I was very impressed with uh, the Juki machine. It's a very good industrial um, quilting machine. It's not the biggest but it would serve my purposes perfectly. I had tried um, quilting on my domestic sewing machine, a um, king size quilt. And if you've ever done it before, you know how difficult it is to maneuver uh, the bulk of that quilt underneath your domestic sewing machine. And I had a rather large domestic sewing machine, but it was still very difficult. I used the clips, I rolled it up, I shoved it under the needle, and it was still very difficult. So I decided that I was going to get a long arm. I didn't at the time know which one, but after I tried out the Juki and I was able to sit through the first day of training, I thought, I can do this. And so I did make a purchase of a Juki long arm and was able to attend the second and third day. Well, from what I understand, it's very unusual to receive training right from the outset when you get your long arm. Most people are on their own. 
So during a class of over three days, I made some friends in that class, Chris being one of them, and we got together afterwards and started talking about using our long arm. She had purchased hers a year before, and this was the first time she was receiving any official training on her long arm. So we got together, and um, I think there were probably three or four other people in the class that we made contact with, and we actually... Um, got together at each other's houses once a month. So there'd be some quilting, there'd be some wine, there'd be a little bit of lunch, and we would do the same thing we're doing in our club. We would talk about the software, we'd talk about problems we were having with it, any uh, tips that we had learned, and then there'd be sewing on the long arm. So in our group, there were people who had the Juki QVP. There it was a woman who had the uh, baby lock crown jewel, a couple people have noltines, and now one girl has a cunique. So, but the thing that binds us all together is the fact that we all use the same software. So over the course of almost two years, we have learned a lot from each other. And so what I hope to do with this series of videos is to kind of share what we've been doing in our club and go over some of the things that we talked about, because I think for all of us, when we initially get our, our long arm, our first fear is if you get started on a quilt and you don't get a chance to finish it, what if you turn your machine off? Will you lose all the information that you've programmed into the, into the uh, computer to complete your quilt? Um, though that is probably the biggest fear that most people have. And, and especially for me, when I first got mine and I started my first quilt, finally, after practicing, I, I was afraid to turn the machine off. In fact, I didn't. I left it on all night and I came back the next morning and finished my quilt. But those are just some of the things that go through your mind. You've paid all this money for this machine and you've got software and you don't really know exactly how to do it. So we talk about all those things at the QCT Club of East Lansing. And our, our local quilt, the local quilt shop that we meet at is Country Stitches in East Lansing. So if, if you're ever, if we ever get past this, uh, social distancing, and we're able to meet at the, the quilt store again. We meet the first Monday of every month from, uh, let's see, 10.30 until 2.30. Sometimes we go longer, but there's always a chance for discussion, a chance for demonstration. We always have show and tell, and there's a lot of sharing and learning that goes on. But let me just give you this one clue. If you get a long arm, and they, they deliver it to your house, maybe they set it up for you or you set it up yourself, promise yourself that every day you will go down and practice at least 15 minutes on your long arm. You will be surprised how fast 15 minutes go and in fact, how long you can stay down there practicing. Well, I say down there because my machine is in my basement, but you'll be surprised how long you will actually play on your machine before you actually do your first quilt. And I know some people jump right out there and do their first quilt and more power to them because I, I was afraid and I, I don't think I was alone in being afraid to, to try my machine on a quilt. So I had a lot of practice material and I used to go to Goodwill and get sheets. I know some people will say, don't sew on sheets. But by the time you get them from Goodwill, they've been washed so many times that they really are a lot softer than they would be if they just came out of the package and very easy to sew on. I never had any problems. So I would do a lot of practicing on sheets. I'd make a quilt sandwich. And after I got through sewing up and practicing, I'd finish off the corners of the quilt and donate the quilts to uh, the animal shelter. So there were a lot of sheets coming through here, a lot of sewn beds going out to the animal shelter. So you'll have to figure out a way to, to practice, but I, I can tell you I'm very happy um, with my long arm and I thoroughly enjoy the fact that there's a computer connected to my long arm and I can do digitized patterns and um, although the software comes with a number of patterns with it, you can't help but going online and downloading other patterns to add to your collection. Sometimes you're looking for a particular 
theme and you can find it in some of the online shops and download it and put it on your machine, which is another topic that we covered in QCT Club. You've got all these patterns out here. So how do you get them from the internet onto your own computer? So we'll talk about a lot of those things as we go along and hopefully you'll get something um, out of the programs, out of the videos, something that'll help you. I hope that you'll comment in the comment section on YouTube or you can send me an email at thequiltedpoodle at gmail.com and ask a specific question or something you want to cover. So right now the current software for Quilters Creative Touch Club or Quilters Creative Touch software for Juki is 4.0. As soon as the software upgrade 5.0 for Quilters Creative Touch comes out for Juki, I hope to come to you with another video showing you how to download and install the software on your laptop so you can use it in simulation mode and also to download and install it on your tablet so you can run your long arm machine and it will control your software as well as your carriage. So hopefully that'll come out real soon and I'll bring you another video. Before I go, though, I'd like to send out a big shout of thanks to my Shiro, Janet George, for her help, encouragement, inspiration, and just telling me to go ahead, pick up a camera and make some videos and put my own special spin on it. She's been very helpful. And if you've been in the Facebook community at all, you know that she's uploaded lots of instructional videos and lots of PDF documents. Uh, accounting for how to use the software so that's been extremely helpful i've watched them all numerous times myself and also a big thanks to marie nelson from the grace company if you've ever called them for customer service you know they have excellent service um, in answering your questions and then giving you support and a special thanks to my husband whose help has been invaluable and hopefully i'll see you real soon goodbye thanks for watching god bless